So City by Karen's attorney has claimed that his client, Sarah Comrie, has provided the receipt stating that she purchased the bike on the day of the video where she's, you know, claiming that the young black man accosted her over the bike and was trying to steal it, although he adamantly said about eight times that he paid for it. Newsflash, darling, you are really a lowly, unethical person. Granted, your lawyer is going to say that, but the receipts that you provided, they don't fool me. And anybody who's been rocking with me knows that I'm going to break this down and I'm going to be very analytical over this. We're going to get into some things tonight because I've been waiting for this. So all you people out there that's been threatening me, been calling me and my people names, I'm ready for all that smoke. Let's get into this, shall we? Oh, yeah, baby. Yes, honey. Says Sarah Jane Comrie wanted to be a fool and play these kind of Carolyn Bryant games in my city or my very borough. Oh, I want to lay the law down on this chick. See, you almost had all these people fooled. But see, you didn't know until now, and I'm sure your peoples know me, that I'm doing the very 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 people that will break something down and builds it back up in its proper form see city by karen she thinks that all negroes are dumb see she's trying to be the new carolyn bryant but honey that's a one-shot deal that ain't never happening again okay she got away with her stuff because she had people in high power in high places now you may have them back where you come from but honey you in nyc baby and we don't play them kind of games all right so we're going to talk about this via daily mail where it states pregnant nyc nurse accused of taking a city bike from a black man outside a hospital is named as friends start go for me to pay her legal bills and lawyer shares receipts that prove the bike was hers mm -hmm. oh i'm getting to that a pregnant New York City nurse accused of taking a city bike from a black man outside a hospital has been named by friends as they raise money for her legal fees. Sarah Comrie, 36, has been identified in a GoFundMe, which is calling for donations to help fund the legal bills to save her livelihood and reputation. It comes as DailyMail.com can reveal the nurse's city bike receipt which her lawyer claims proves the bike was she was clutching in the footage was booked by her as the number on the handle bars matched the document. Justin Marino, who is representing Carmi, says the documents show the six-month pregnant physician's assistant had booked the city bike outside of Bellevue Hospital after finishing her shift. Do documents show that the ride was ultimately canceled and she wasn't charged before booking another bike minutes after the incident. Hmm. Let's repeat that one more time. Justin Marino, who was representing Comrie, says the documents show the six-month pregnant physician's assistant had booked the city bike outside of Bellevue Hospital after finishing her shifts. The documents show that the ride was ultimately canceled, okay, and she wasn't charged before booking another bike minutes after the incident. Okay, now y'all have that in mind because I read that twice. Speaking to DailyMail.com, he said, the receipts show unequivocally that she got the bike first. But there is no animosity towards the men in the video. We frankly wish them the best in the future. The focus is clearing her name and going after the publications and high-profile names that defamed her. A fundraiser for the nurse has raised over... <laughs> it raised over literally $950 so far. So close to $1,000. With her friends saying the much-publicized incident painted her as a racist Karen which has since proven is a lie, but the damage has been done. Comrie, who
who had on blue scrubs emblazoned with NYC help and hospitals could be seen screaming for help and tearing up as the crowd gathered around them when the video first emerged. Them fake ass Karen tears. Bitch wasn't shedding no water. The well was dry. You know, it, it, I mean, corny. She's corny. She's a cornball. Okay. In the clip, a friend of the man can be heard defending her, defending him, saying the woman brands it a Karen after the video was in fact trying to steal from him. Moreno has vehemently denied these allegations on behalf of his receipts in a statement which refers to the receipts. Oh, well, we're going to look at the receipts, okay? The first receipt shows the bike seen in the video was paid for and taken out before it was relocked one minute later, identified by the number on the handle. Ah! Oh my God! He's hurting me! Ah! He stole my bike! I just have to say that because this Biffa is dumb. A second receipt, he says, is proof of a second bike being taken from the same docking station, which Comrie used to ride home. Let me repeat that. A second receipt, he says, is proof of a second bike being taken from the same docking station, which Comrie used to ride home. Marino said his client was forced to get a second city bike after being heckled and pressured to do so. Mm hmm he says Conry has since been put on leave, because I'm again to that another article, by the NYC Health and Hospitals after the encounter was caught on tape, but added the interaction was incomplete and lacking facts. Pregnant Conry reportedly had just finished a 12-hour shift before getting on an available bike, which no individuals were on or touching, and paid through the app. His statement added one or more individuals in that group physically pushed her bike with her on it back into the docking station, causing it to relock. I'm blocking the QR code. This individual's arm was touching my client's pregnant stomach, a condition in which she had made them aware. Throughout this time and for the remainder of the video, roughly five individuals were telling her to get off the bike and heckling her. The fact anyone would treat another person like this is tragic, especially a visibly pregnant woman. The New York lawyer went on to defend his client's reputation, saying her entire life has been focused on helping others irrespective of, her, of their background. DailyMail.com has contacted Bellevue Hospital for comment but has not received a response. A roughly 90-second video of the incident was posted on TikTok and Twitter and shows Comrie arguing with the man outside of Bellevue over the weekend. One of the man's friends tells Comrie he is recording the situation as a man has his hands on the bike. She then screams for help saying, help me, help me, please help me. But the friend says off screen, the, the man's friends off screen tells her, this is not your bike. The hospital employee then cries out for help again and asks the man, to please get off. She then takes off her hospital badge in an apparent effort to hide her identity as one of the men could be her saying, you know you're not getting this bike, okay? Now, what ends up happening is that Comrie then screams for help again and tries to get onto the rental bike before swiping the man's phone. Why are you taking my phone? One of the men, man's friends asks her, what's wrong with you? Do not touch his phone. Do not touch his phone. He tells the hospital employees. Comrie then tells the man that he's hurting my unborn baby. To which the man replied, you put your stomach on my hand. The woman then turns around and starts to once again scream for help. At which point one of her co-workers approaches. The man tries to explain, this is my bike. It's on my account. He tells the woman, please move. At that point, the woman can be seen apparently crying, though the man's friend says they are fake tears. Now, here's what the health and hospital reads, okay? Because this is very important. We are aware of the video involving a healthcare provider or duty in a way from the hospital campus. The incident is on the, on the, in the video is disturbing. The provider is currently on leave and will remain on leave pending a review. As health systems, as the health systems... As a health system, we are committed to providing an environment of our, for our patients and staff 
that is free from discrimination of any kind. In other words, bitch got suspended. So for all you hoes out there, you racist hoes out there that was trying to tell me that I'm a liar and that all of us black women especially were saying that we was lying and that black people like to cry victims of racism, there's your proof right there. The bitch got suspended. Because what suspension is, is another term for leave, okay? That's what a suspension is. A suspension is when you're forced to be out on leave, okay? And it has nothing to do with the medical or has nothing to do with you taking your own personal leave. It's when they're saying, we place you on leave, we place you on leave. They put her out on leave, pins in a review, meaning whether they will keep her as an employee or whether they will keep her and transfer her or they will terminate her employment. Okay, and they did it because they saw that what she did was racist. Okay, now I'm going to go in and read the last comments, the last couple of paragraphs, and I'm going to give you a full breakdown as to why this Biffa is lying. She then continues to climb onto the bike hysterically with tears. As her co-workers suggest, they just reset the bike. But the man's friends continue to defend him, saying it's his, it's his. One of the friends then again accuses the woman of freight crying, telling her to stop. While the man asks her to stop touching me. Comrie then steps off the bike and apparently stops crying as she pulls out her phone. Now a tear came down, miss, the friend says as the video ends. Under city bikes policies, anyone who keeps a bike out for longer than 45 minutes at a time will be charged 17 cents for each additional minute. And may have their account suspended. If a customer does not return a bike within 24 hours, the account holder will be charged a lost or stolen bike fee of $1,200 plus tax. A spokesperson for the New York City Police Department said it did not receive any 911 calls or reports about the incident, but is aware of the video. Meanwhile, Bellevue Hospital said in a statement is investigate, investigating the, the incident. We have recently been aware of an incident that occurred off campus over the weekend and appears to involve one of our employees. It says, we are sorry this happened and we are reviewing the incident. The hospital added that it is committed to providing the highest quality of care to all New Yorkers with dignity, cultural and sensitivity, cultural sensitivity and compassion. That's right. The incident has been compared to Amy Cooper, dubbed the Camp Central Park Karen, who called the police on a black bird watch in 2020 and lost her job. I thought it was 2021. Oh, well. Cooper, who was accused of black bird watcher, who accused a black bird watcher of threatening her in 2020, lost a lawsuit against her former employee for firing her after an incident in September 2022. Okay? Now, they talk about others, but I'm not really going to go into it. But what it basically says is that... um. With um the company that she worked with, they did a thorough investigation and it and basically that it performed a legitimate investigation on her and determined indisputably that Cooper was racist and terminated her. And what that means is that they probably looked at that woman, um, Central Park Karen, and said saw that she was doing that not just there at that moment but a history of it even on a job. And that's the thing with Sarah Comrie, City Bike Karen, they're probably looking into it because they probably found out, hey, there's probably incidents with this woman or, you know, maybe there was a couple of complaints. And now we got to look deep in it because we can't have a lawsuit over this chick possibly doing racist acts towards other people watching the job, whether it's with patients or fellow employees, you know? So this is no joke, but we're going to go back to those receipts that they posted, darling, because when I read it, I did my research. First of all, here's why the whole thing is bogus, and it proves nothing but that she's a big liar that she already is. We see the date is May 12, 2023. We see the bike number. We see the dollar sign is zero. We see that it says, thanks for riding with us. But what we don't see is the blurriness. What we don't see is the time because it's blurred. Now, when I produce receipts, 
I have everything shown because I'm trying to prove my case. Like, you know, this is such, this happened, this is what occurred. And you want to make yourself proven out to be a, 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 a basically, you want to see, you want to make yourself credible, authentic as much as possible. Okay. With this situation, we know on camera, those guys, especially the ones, the bike she snatched, he did not touch her. She grabs his phone and she never, ever once said, I paid for the bike. He said eight times, I paid for the bike. I paid for it. You're still in my bike. Now, if you're saying that you paid for the bike before him and that was your bike, why is the time blocked? Well, let's see. This happened on May 12th, right? Supposedly. We in New York got this story May May 16th, I believe. City by Karen. The story froze and broke like almost a week ago. Okay, the 12th was a Friday. So this supposedly happened on a Friday. Okay. Just post the time. Now, the guy has the bike. He's claiming he has the time. But here's the problem here in all of this. I, for one, was saying, well, what about the timestamps? Let's compare the timestamps. Who ordered the bike first? Was it him or was it her? But then I did my research. Being Miss Analytical, I said, let me see how these bikes are ordered. Now, you're probably wondering, why would you check to see how you order a city bike? You live in in New York City. That is true, but here's something that y'all going to learn about me tonight. I don't ride bikes. I haven't rode a bike since I was like 10 years old. And it's a long story. That's what story time itself. And no, nothing happened to me while I was on the bike. It's not like a phobia of bikes. It's the most stupidest thing. But getting back to the situation, when you order a bike, you just don't wait online to order a bike like you order the bike and what happens is you basically have an account on your phone and you pick you basically go to your bike to your phone and you go and scan an available bike so what happens is you pretty much walk up to the um the plate where the number is for said bike you're gonna rent okay so what happens is the amount of money that you're the time that you're using it the bike it comes up on your phone okay so if you're using it for let's say 30 minutes it's about 15 it's about 15 dollars if it's for an hour it's about four ninety nine if you're using it for thirty minutes. If you're if it's for, it's forty minutes if you're using it for a full day. Now the problem with her situation is that when she walked up to use the bike, she didn't. You don't see a video where she's like using the Q, the 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 the, the scan, the Q scan. I think it's called the QR scan or something like that. You know. You don't see her scanning it. She never once says, I paid for it. I scanned it. Look, I have the receipt. She doesn't do that. But the guy's like, I paid for this bike. She never once said she paid for his bike. Instead, she tried to snatch the phone from him. She pushes him. He never touches her. And then afterwards, when he's proceeding to grab the bike, she's like, I'm six months pregnant. That's another reason why they suspended her. Because she put her daughter's, she put her unborn baby's life in jeopardy. And if you know the area of where it's at, it's right on the hospital, right on the campus of Bellevue Hospital where she works. Had anything happened to her and her baby, she could have claimed a workers' comp case with the New York City Health and Hospital Corporation, Bellevue Hospital campus. They would have had to pay for this chick's workers' comp claim. And if, God forbid, anything happens to that baby, she would have had a multi-million dollar lawsuit, which is why I say they're going to fire her ass. Okay, which is why I say that she was trying to stump, strum up an argument. And I think Citibank Karen was trying to be slick, trying to basically get a claim on, on workers' comp 
to and put those little boys in that situation to where it's like, oh, you know, I got injured on a job trying to get a city bike. Because if you peep what the lawyer said, the lawyer said we don't have any issues with them. We wish them the best. Why would you not have why would you not have issues with them when they try to accost your 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 your, your client? When they supposedly threaten her life and Almost injured her baby, but you have no problem. There's no animosity towards the men in a video. We frankly wish them the best in the future, huh? The focus is on clearing her name and going after the publication of high profile names that defamed her. No one defamed the broad. Everyone, including myself, we're proving what she's doing is wrong. She was trying to be slick and she got out slicked, okay? And that's what exactly happened. And I believe the bitch never paid for the bike. I believe she was trying to pull a fast one. And she was probably trying to get a workers' comp case with Bellevue Hospital. Because we don't know. She could be trouble on that job. And Bellevue Hospital realized, oh, we got something now on her. We could get her out of here. We get out of here. Because from what my research tells me, you have to go up to an available bike. And scan it. Because the reason being is, let's say you're at like 10 blocks away from a city bike um, share. And by the way, it's a bike share. You're driving somewhere, riding that bike. And you're like, any destination. Like, let's say you're going from downtown to uptown, okay? You have to put it back at an actual site. And it's really complicated. I'm going to go more into it tomorrow. But it's not easy. But here's another thing. I've never seen a six-month pregnant woman ride a bike. Doctors don't encourage that. No one's ever debunked that opinion that this woman who's six months pregnant is riding a bike. No one will tell. And then she don't have a helmet. Where was her helmet? To protect herself in a baby. There's a lot of stuff wrong and that can be debunked. But the biggest thing that's debunked is who ordered the bike first? And the question is, how come she never provided the receipts that she ordered it? And the time is blanked out. The time should be there. Because the bitch ordered it like the lawyer said. She ordered it first, and then it got canceled, and she wasn't charged. But she booked another bike minutes after the incident. The ride was canceled. Why was the ride canceled? You paid for it. You paid for your bike, supposedly. Because you never paid for it, darling. And that's why your credibility is sold. And that's why, more than likely, Bellevue is going to let you go. Because you were trying to scam them on a workers' comp case to get injured. You wanted those boys to injure you so that you could have a workers' comp case. Because you probably got a vendetta against Bellevue. And they caught it. And they about to get you out the paint. As in, out of working for the New York City Health and Hospital Corporation. Because there's one thing I'm going to say about my city. My city got its flaws. But the one floor we don't have. We don't tolerate racism in this city like most major cities have. Where that chick is from, they probably don't like black people and they respect them. But this city, we don't do half the stuff. This is the most protected city, believe it or not, when it comes to people of color. That's why in the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s, black people came up here in droves. Because this was the safest city. Now, yes, we have our incidents of, 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 of racism, of malicious things like that. But compared to other cities, the numbers are nowhere near as high. And all these transplants that come in up to the city now, a lot of them are bringing their racism up here. That's why you have these incidents going on. Before, when we had them, they were isolated. But now we're having a lot of them. But they learn in New York don't really play that because New York don't want to shell out that money. They gonna get her up up out of here. And I'm gonna be happy when they get her up 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 out of here and tap her to pack her bags and go back to the city where she came from. 
And to all you little people out there that want to co-sign for her, check this. Us in this sphere of YouTube, we ain't afraid of y'all. Okay? Because y'all been threatening me and I'm going to post those receipts. And if you know the history of me on my channel, I've been on my channel for over a half a decade. And I ain't going nowhere. And I'm going to post this tonight and I'm going to post some more. And with that being said, I'm signing out. Make sure you tune in. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, share, and I'll talk to y'all later. Good night. And I'll be back soon. Because ain't none none ho going to chase me up out of here. And I ain't going to change my ways and how I talk and how I feel about stuff. Yes, I said it.